Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use an image for the background of the mobile menu in your Squarespace 7 website. Now this tutorial is specific for Brine theme templates in Squarespace 7 because it has a very specific code name for that mobile menu background. If you're using the latest version of Squarespace known as 7.1, I have a completely different tutorial for you. Link is in the description below. But if you're using a Brine theme template in Squarespace 7, you're in the right place. Now there are two steps to this super simple tutorial. All we're going to do is upload your image to the custom files section of your site. And then we're going to add a little bit of code that says, hey, browser, use this image as the background when you're looking at the mobile menu. So let's hop into my demo site and I'll walk you through the step by step. So here we are in my demo site. I'll go ahead and open up my mobile menu so we can see what it looks like here. We'll click on the icon and there we go. We have this mobile menu here, just a simple solid color. We're going to replace that with an image. Now the first step of this is to upload the image to our custom files. So let's navigate to design and then scroll down to custom CSS. At the very bottom here, you'll see a button that says manage custom files. When we click on that button, I'm able to just drag and drop the image I want to use right there into my website. That's going to give it a unique URL that we're going to use in this code. Now this code is listed in the description below. I'm just going to copy it right here out of my site and paste it in the custom CSS panel here. Now this part of the text, it says URL goes here. I'm just going to hit the backspace button to remove that and opening up my custom files, I'll just click on the image title and Squarespace will put the URL for my image right there in the code for me. Now check it out. When we open that menu, we have the cement look here. Now this part of the code is very important as well. I have background size cover listed here. If I don't have that, it's gonna stretch out my image and make it look really funky. I want it to stay in proportion. So I've selected background size cover. Then after that, I changed it to width 100% as well. If I remove that, it's just going to be on the side of the menu. I wanted it to take up the whole screen. Completely up to you. If you'd like to have a little bit of your site peeking through there like it does on the normal menu, just remove that width 100%. Otherwise, leave it there and you'll get the full image across. Now, last but not least, we changed the mobile overlay close option. See what happens when I remove that line of code? the X goes away. There's no easy way for a person to exit out of that menu. They have to click a link or they're just stuck looking at this. So we've added that line, pulling that button above the background for our menu. Okay. Awesome. So that's it for this super quick tutorial. The codes I just walked you through are listed in the description below. So what you need to do is go to your site and navigate to design, custom CSS, manage custom files, upload your image there, and then paste the code from this tutorial into your custom CSS, replacing URL goes here with the URL for the image that you just uploaded. Feel free to adjust that width if you don't want it to take the whole width of the mobile menu or the mobile screen that you're looking at there. But other than that, it's a super simple code to update and I hope it works awesome for you. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something awesome. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. With over 30 pages of pro tips and code snippets specific for Squarespace, you can customize your site way beyond your design menu. Download your copy today at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.